Well, greetings one and all, and welcome back to another video of your host, Andrew. Today, you join me here on what is yet another wet and windy day. So unfortunately, I won't be going to any locations today because I don't really want to ruin my kit. Anyway, what we have here for you today is a pen from Gravitas Pens. I've had this for um, some time now, and I've had plenty of opportunity to see how it writes. So why don't you join me after the titles and see how it performs? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so Gravitas Pens. Now, just a little brief overview. I'll give you a, a link to Ben's website's um, About Us page so you can sort of read in more details. But essentially, Ben Walsh is a fairly new person in the, the world of fountain pens. And he started Gravitas in 2015 in Dublin, Ireland. He is indeed Irish himself. And he has really just gone from strength to strength. Uh, with the exception of a unsuccessful Kickstarter campaign, he really is now sort of commanding the attention of quite a number of, I would say, prolific YouTubers. It's been reviewed on various uh, channels and most notably Peter Draws, which is a, a, a fantastic art channel. If you're unfamiliar with Peter Draws, which I'm sure you're probably not, um, I will also leave a link to his channel in the description below so you can see how this pen works in a more artistic manner. So what do we get here? Well, this is the Gravitas entry pen and we get this really nice sort of Alcantara style um, leather um, packet. I don't think it's genuine, um, but it is very, very nice indeed. We get some very nice white stitching around the outside of the packaging. We've got this ancient uh, Irish language just written down here. I don't know what it says though. I'll have to ask Ben on that. And then we've got um, Gravitas pens with the uh, crow's feet logo down here at the bottom, which is very, very reminiscent of uh, that of the British Army where they use this designation for uh, things like watches and various other pieces of equipment. But it's very, very beautiful nonetheless. So inside, we have got the Gravitas entry pen. So as per usual, what I will do is I'll provide you with some dimensions of this pen. We'll also give you a writing sample. We'll also give you a nice little size comparison and then my final thoughts and feelings. Okay, so the Gravitas entry pen. I opted for one in teal and this sort of very nice matte uh, finish just looks fantastic on this pen, I have to say. On the top, we've got this conical top, comes to a point. It's kind of sharp, but it doesn't actually hurt if you to dig your finger in there, but it will leave a little imprint. Um, and then coming on to the cap, it's a fairly short cap, um, but we also have got the Gravitas logo on there as well. So a nice bit of subtle branding. Comes down onto the main body, starts tapering just over the halfway mark, comes down to a reflected conical finial down on the bottom. All very nice. Underneath, we have got what I think is the star of the show, and we've got this sort of ribbed uh, section here, really comfortable to hold. It's sort of, um, I guess it sort of tapers in just into sort of like, almost like a wine bottle shape here at the top, and it's just a really ultra comfy pen to hold. No matter whether you like or dislike uh, metal sections, this section is just absolutely sublime. And then we've got a stainless steel Yovo nib with no designation on there of the company. Uh, but we do get the extra fine grade on, not extra fine, sorry, 1.1 uh, stub on here. Uh, very nice. Underneath the barrel, we have got some very long threading. Squeaks a little bit at times. But we've got an international cartridge converter which sits in there very, very flush and very, very nice. Operates perfectly. No problems whatsoever. It's a squeaky one. <laughs> I think I might need to put some WD-40 on it. <laughs> but, um, you know, when you're actually capping the main pen, it's really smooth, very smooth indeed. As you can see in here, very nice. And it's quite a quick pen to actually take off. Now the pen also does post, and it posts really securely. And it makes it into a, a really nicely balanced pen. Um, there is a little bit of back weighting, but not too bad. Um, if you hold the pen further back, it's actually even more comfy. So 
I'm actually holding it more or less on the threads at this stage, but because there's no real step up onto the main barrel, it's, it doesn't really impede on your writing abilities. So let's just have a quick look again at how beautiful this matte finish is on the pen. Wonderful. And what we'll do now is we will go over to doing a writing sample and then the size comparisons and then my final thoughts and feelings. So join me over in the next section. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what we have here today is the Gravitas entry pen. So let's just get this written out. We've got a 1.1 stub, and it's a Yovo nib. Gives really nice sort of um, expressional sort of looks to your handwriting, I have to say. Uh, then we have got uh, Bantian Turquoise from Troublemaker. So, ink. And we'll just write out Troublemaker. Make sure I'm going to get that spelt correct. Okay, right, let's just move it up a little bit and then we'll write out the quick brown fox. And then we're going to switch over to doing some print. Fantastic, and as you can see, this nib performs just absolutely gloriously. Um, we're getting quite a lot of shading with this um, Bantian turquoise, certainly at the ends of um, characters. So I'm just going to highlight the points, and then actually, you know, if I do a few sort of lines here, you can really see that sort of variance and that shading even better as highlighted on the, the downstrokes here. Okay, so. We know this is going to be expressional, but I will do some figure of eights. Superb. Let's see if it can actually do any reverse writing. Not that you would really want to do it, but... Oh, actually, yes, it does. It does reverse write. I've not actually tried this before. So this is quite interesting. Let's try that again. That is actually really smooth. Um, that's quite surprising, actually. It's a little bit drier on this side, which is obviously very natural, but it works. It works really well. Um, okay, so let's just check how wet this is. Yeah, now the paper we're using today is Rhodia. So it is very fountain pen friendly. A couple of passes. Yeah, really decent, really, really decent indeed. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move over to doing a size comparison. 
and then I'll give you my final thoughts and feelings. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I thought what would be fun to do today would be to actually compare some pens which are quite similar in the old conical front. So what we've got here is an Akaya Piccolo uh, in the Midori Tamanuri. Then we've got a teal version of the Gravitas Entry Pen. Then we've got a Santini Italia Libra in Ambra. And then we've got a Leonardo Officina Italiana Memento Zero in Blue Hawaii. Now, even though this is a more slender pen, actually, the grip section is surprisingly fantastic. Now, if I compare this to all these four pens here, let's just get these uncapped and placed down for your viewing pleasure. Try and make sure they don't roll away. I do need to get myself a pen tray for this, actually. <laughs> it really wants to be on the bottom, doesn't it? I'll stay. All right, there we go. Good Nakaya. I will leave this in because the struggle is real, guys. The struggle is real. Okay, then we've got the old Santini. Let's just move that one down just a little bit. Gosh, it does like rolling on this table. Perfect. Okay, and then let's have a look at the Leonardo there. Stay. Good pen. Yes. Right, okay. Gosh, that was a bit of a mission, wasn't it, guys? So we've got the Nakaya there, which I'd say comes with maybe the slightly thickest section than the Santini, but I'd say actually the Leonardo and the Gravitas aren't too dissimilar, especially when it starts um, tapering down. I mean, all these pens are extremely comfortable to hold, and I've never had any issues with any of these pens, but that just gives you a little bit of a understanding of the size comparisons. Now, I could post them, but they would disappear off the edge of the table. And to be honest, a lot of people don't post their pens these days. So I don't know really if that would be something which you guys want to see. If you do, uh, do let me know in the comment section and I will try and accommodate that next time. Anyway, let's move on to my final thoughts and feelings on the Gravitas entry. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so who's the pen for and who's it not for? So let's have a look at the packaging um, to start with. Okay, so what do I like and dislike about this? I love the actual simplicity of the design of the packaging. I like for that when you get the pen. It simply, it simply comes in a, uh, a, like a, a bubble wrapped um, envelope and you get the pen inside. Really nice and minimal on the packaging. Very sort of environmentally conscious in that respect. And it just looks superb. The only complaint I have about this, other than the fact that it does smell, it's not a complaint that I actually love that, but for some people that might be a point of contention. It does have a tendency to slip out, so if I was to hold it down, it has a tendency to slip, which is a bit of a, a little bit of a shame. Um, I feel that maybe if the stitching had gone down a little bit further, the pen can actually be operated still by just pushing down on the bottom, like so. So just by simply putting a bit more stitching down there would massively help with how this pen actually operates in terms of actually taking out the packaging. Okay, other than that, I love the actual ancient Irish language on there. I think that's a really nice sort of cultural nod. Really, really nice. And I love the Gravitas logo on there. Really, 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 really beautifully done. Okay. So onto the pen itself, what do I like and dislike, and who's it for and who's it not for? This is a really classic case of form follows function, and the function of this pen is just absolutely sublime. As I mentioned in the writing section, you can leave this pen capped for several weeks, if not several months, and it will write straight away. So that is something which is always very welcomed. The actual grip section on here is very comfortable. You can hold it in close to the nib, you can hold it close onto the barrel, and you're not gonna have any problems whatsoever. The only slight niggle I have is, sometimes it has a tendency to squeak when uncapping it, but, sorry, unbarreling it. There you go. But you're only gonna be doing that um, every so often to do a refill, um, but just, just something to 
to bear in mind. I know some people suffer from sort of uh, noise um, problems with uh, learning difficulties and sometimes squeaks can irk on some people. I love the little logo of Gravitas pens on here. Still very reminiscent of that uh, crow's foot uh, logo. I don't know if that is the inspiration or the arrowhead, uh, but it's just really beautiful. It's such a stylish pen and certainly I feel that this is a really sort of Instagram friendly, friendly pen, to be honest, if that's uh, such a thing. Um, it's certainly something which I feel that people in their sort of EDC postings would be actually displaying. And you know what? Why not? It's just absolutely fantastic. The pen posts and it posts incredibly deeply. It makes it into a pen which isn't too dissimilar in size to the Memento Zero. Um, if I post the Memento Zero, the Memento Zero does look considerably longer, even though they are quite similar in actual length to start with. So that's just something to bear in mind. So let's just hold up the Memento Zero and the Gravitas. Yep, yeah, virtually identical, but the Memento Zero certainly becomes a, a lot longer when you post that. So really, really welcomed in that respect. And I think that's a conscientious uh, decision on Ben's behalf because you can see it tapers quite a lot here on the actual back end. And if it hadn't had that level of tapering, it would post a bit longer. And by posting it longer, it would back weight the pen. So really, really good thought, of thought process on Ben's behalf. Okay, is there anything I dislike about the pen? No, not really. Um, there's nothing I can say that I dislike about the pen other than maybe the odd squeak on the actual um, barrel when uncapping it. There's nothing else I dislike about it. Is there things which I would do to improve it? Not really, no. Um, maybe having the inclusion of a roll stop or a pull-on clip would be very, very useful. I do like roll stops on pens and maybe having the roll stop with the Gravitas logo would look really, really beautiful. Um, just, just something to consider. Anyway, that's my rambles for today. Um, if you enjoy the content, um, please do consider giving a likes and a, a thumbs up. And also do let me know what colors would you like to see in the future on these pens? Um, I know Ben is very active in the community and he does take on board quite a lot of feedback. So if there's other colors which you'd like to see, um, have a look at the Gravitas website. And then if it's not one on there, then do consider actually suggesting some colors. Anyway, that leaves it for today. Thank you for listening and I shall see you soon. Till then, stay safe and goodbye for now.